tight end. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. They'll try and run down here with ProSize. Only about a yard there as he takes it from the 9 to the 8. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Back to the ground, this time Lynch. And they get him down at the one. He had the broken tackle, but ultimately could not get into the end zone. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. They'll run for it with Lynch. And he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. Extra point up and through by Myers. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. This will be taken in at the one. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Here we go. take over first and 10 at their own 29-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. It caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Tedrick Thompson picks it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Both defenses have had their struggles, but they've been good enough to get them this lead and another nice play there to help preserve the lead. It's been a game of punch-counterpunch, hasn't it? All throughout. But this time, the big swing was taken, and it didn't land. Nice play by them on defense. Weaving through traffic, and now he's free. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Chris Carson. 88 yards. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. And that run massively increased his production in this game, and now he's over 100 yards. You break out your calculator, partner, because his yards per carry went up it's significantly, skyrocketed. right? Big time jaunt all the way to the end zone. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 43. Jackson now. From the gun, he'll throw. Buying time to his left. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Now Jackson on first down. The attempt on the dive, and he has it. What a catch. A good pick up there, a 22. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Hey, watch the ship, watch the ship. Jim, Jim, whoa, Jim. He's crashing. He's checking crash. You go tight. You got tight. Let's go. From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down. Dan 
Johnson to his left. And his throw here is incomplete. Hollywood Brown, the intended receiver. And it's second down. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense is well-coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure. The backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. Flush to his right toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, I kind of got to give him credit. Another incompletion there, yes, but he's still trying to make plays outside the pocket. Yeah, he's been hemmed in for much of the game. How about him getting outside there? And that's what you want to see from your quarterback. He's not giving up on this game, so every other player in the field has to say to himself, I can't give up either. 36, 36. Switch, switch, switch. Watch it. On third down, Jackson steps away to his left. And that will be incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, w what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed, if there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Jackson throwing on fourth down. But, and he's going to be intercepted a third time. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. Pass the 10 to the 11-yard line, and that's where the return stops. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense. But they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. Here they come, second and 10 now from the 10. They run again with Carson. And space opens a bit as he gets it across the 15 to the 17-yard line. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. From the gun on third down, Wilson. Oh, he tries to get it to Metcalf, but it's intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowl, Marcus Peters. And he will score. Touchdown, Baltimore. This game's still fairly well in hand, but I think now you, you go conservative, don't you? Go into your shell and just run the football? I think you have to, but you also have to tell your backs, make sure you're really protecting the football because you're going to run into a stacked defensive front, which is why they were throwing the football before, trying to make sure they just get their backs, you know, really beat up in that situation. Now, good luck to them. And the Seahawks, looks like they've recovered. They have. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. 14. 14. Let's go, let's go. Back to the air, Wilson after the pick six. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Sack back at about the 43-yard line. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Throwing now is Wilson. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And Pete Carroll looks like he likes his chances with the offense on the field. They're going for it on four. Check. 
They're going on fourth down. It's Wilson. And no, it's incomplete. Pete Carroll rolled the dice, but it didn't work out. And the Ravens are going to get the football back. Now, that's just simply good coaching and excellent technique on that play. You know why? Because wow. everyone wants to rush the passer when they want to throw the football, but you're not always going to get there. So what are you taught to do? When the ball's finally thrown, get your hands up in the passing lanes, and they batted that one away. No, 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 no. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. Okay, it's real simple to say from here, but we know that sometimes as a quarterback, you've got to know when to say My when and just throw it away. Flushed out to the right, tries to make something out of nothing here, and he winds up floating one downfield that gets intercepted. One left, one left. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. We got double up, double up. Check, 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 check. Watch the safety creep. Check 50, check 50. After the interception, here's Wilson. Flushed out right. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Here's Wilson. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Wilson to throw. Looking for Rocket, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. Shot for Jackson. Eluding the pressure right. And this is going to be caught. So it affects the final score, not the outcome, but it is a late touchdown here on the game's final play. Doesn't affect the outcome, but hey, nice job there to put it in the end zone for the final play. Could it affect other things? Sometimes the, these types of scores are ones that we don't consider big at the time. Then later on we find out maybe that was a tiebreaker. Yeah. Or, of course, in the fantasy football world, these points mean a lot. <laughs> a lot there. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off with great anticipation. And that is going to seal this victory as time runs out. Well, an interesting finish to this one. They get in the end zone at the end of the game. Then they went for two. It wouldn't have mattered. The game was over, but they didn't get that two-point conversion. I think trying to get the two points, that was for pride for them. But obviously the guys on the other side of the ball had some pride, too. They stopped the two-point play, even though, as you noted, it did not matter. So both teams battled to the end. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gordon. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. From Baltimore, so long, everybody.
Space out your mind. But can you rock it like rockets? That's fool? a close encounter of what kind? Gentlemen. 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 When it was time to get it lit, we got it hot like fever. fever. Sick with the talk, the pass of your receiver. All about running the spot. And you know we got breath control, so no need to take a breather. Cardio kingpin. Subject. Bring spins. A star quizzes. A plus the final. Vocals we align will move it all simul.
The NFL is on EA Sports, and we are in Silicon Valley at Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara. The scene a short time ago, this crowd, they love their 49ers, and they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room. And we're ready for football as the 49ers get set to do battle with Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. This will be fielded at the six. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Sean Lynch, five yards on the game's first play, second down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. On second down now, it's Lynch, and running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Wilson. Being chased out left. He can run for it, and he will. So no sack. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it'll still bring up a fourth down. But there was pressure all around him, so the only play was to try and get out of there. I think it was an excellent effort by him just to get back to the line of scrimmage. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. Turns the punt 64 yards on the score as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. They get the stop defensively, force the punt, they score without their offense. 